Hi there. So in this video, I want, want to show you how to to install Windows using uh, do, do, WSL or Win, Windows Subsystem Linux. So this is a new feature, but not so new, but in the uh, the latest release and with, with Windows 11, it works really, really well. Even it has support to to, to graphical applications without the need to of using any X server. So the first thing is that the installation is quite easy. I'm not going to go into details. Just look WSL the installation and go to the Microsoft page. And here you will have all the instru in instruction how to install. So basically it's almost one step you have this one so you need to to open the powershell okay as uh, an administrator and then type this in the common line and that's all so just to show you how to find that powershell just go here and just look for powershell you have it there then you right click and run as a, a administrator Yes, and there you go. You have your PowerShell and then just type the commands that you're going to find in this page. So for instance, it will be WSL install. So I'm not going to do anything because it's already installed, but it's just showing me this, this information. So it's very straightforward. Follow these instructions here, okay? I think there is no way that you can get it wrong. It's quite difficult. So for instance, double is L uh, minus L minus B and just show it showing here that currently I have these two Linux versions installed. So by default, it will install Ubuntu, but then I install open source 15.3 uh, is the one I like to use, but it doesn't matter, it's up to you. So you can have different versions installed, living together. And this version here is the WSL uh, version. So it's version two. So it's your, it's you have by any chance the old version, version one. Uh, here also you have the, the steps how to update. Okay, so the support to graphical application is with the latest one, WSL2. So if you have an old one, just update it. If you don't have anything when you install, it will install by default W the version three. Okay, so I invite you just read this page. It's very straightforward, no way to get it wrong. Also here you have a few important instructions. So for instance, how to, okay. So for instance, also you can install, and I will prepare a video and also on our website. Uh, we're going to share our, let's call it image, okay, or distribution of WSL with all our applications. So basically we're talking about installing open phone inside that. So we're going to distribute it. So here you have instruction how you can import and export uh, distribution. Okay, so different actions here. Something important as well when you install this uh, <clears throat> this distribution or WSL, all the all the image, images are have a maximum size of two hundred fifty fifty six gigabytes, which I think is more than enough to test in. Okay, uh, but it's unique. Something larger. Uh, here you have the the steps how to increase it. Okay, uh, it's also installed by default in your drive C, but you can move it to another drive and following these steps. Now also you can move it to another computer or deploy one single distribution in, in all your computers. So after you install everything, see here that when you go to the explorer, you have the normal explorer, but now you have access here, Linux, and you have access to your distribution. So without Windows, you can access that, uh, <clears throat> that Linux installation, okay? So you double click there and you can move files, okay? You okay? You cannot modify anything here in OPT. Those are system directory, so it will ask you for administrator password, so it's, it's, it's protected. Okay, but as you go into your home, in this case is mine. Here you can do whatever you want. You can move, copy files, access files. Okay, so yep, this is very easy to deal with. Uh, something important as well. So it might happen that you have some files here, and you would like to access that file. Uh, using a Windows application. So it is possible, but you need to map this hard drive. So if you have it like this, you cannot find 
that 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 you cannot access those files because you don't have any map so you are not mapping that so just to show you here so probably i can do like this and the drop it and will open so see that it's, it's seemingly integrated but if i go open file you have the traditional okay it, it will access this one it, it access but for instance there are some other applications and probably just to show you part of you so if you go to part of you in my case i have part of you installed in windows okay you can install also part of you in this wsl distribution there is no problem and we'll show you a little bit how to do that but it's exactly as you do it with a linux uh installation nothing nothing changed so let me close here and just to show you while we wait for that uh launching uh part of you to show you the the, the steps so okay we have part of you here just to show you. so let's say for instance that you would like to access a file in your linux distribution here so in this case part of you doesn't have access to that linux machine so sometimes you might need to map uh that hard drive okay so to map that probably you're already familiar just go here you right click uh in my case i'm using windows 11 so all the instructions that i'm showing you applies to windows 11 uh map network drive and that's all you give it a letter so it will be y i don't like to reconnect automatically so i like to do it manually and see that you map it there so now that this linux uh distribution in windows system uh you have it map it here in y so if you go back here open see that you have it and now you can access the files with part of you so let me show you now the steps here so <clears throat> so i'm not going to type it in the powershell i took this screenshot so the first step is installation so in the computer i was working i didn't have windows existence so when i installed it needs it installed the latest version version 2. so just type this command as you see it there it will start to install download some files it will download the ubuntu versions linux by default okay and then you can erase it or you can say do not install that and then it will ask you to reboot your system okay you after you reboot your system and then you <clears throat> you it will automatically install ubuntu and it will show you this screen so see that it will install a basic a minimal ubuntu installation you don't have any graphical interface nothing and you don't have all the commands all the programs and compilers so you need to install that from the terminal so in this case in ubuntu okay it will do the installation the basic installation and then it will create a user user you give the password and that's all you are there then you can access your your machine so in this case now i open the machine here and see that you are in the classical uh linux terminal so just to show you that after you install is you go to your applications you're going to have somewhere here for you go ubuntu you have it there and then i have the other open source somewhere here okay you see it here so let me open ubuntu so you click there and that's all you have now this is linux okay so all your linux commands everything you have it there okay so everything is installed in a very specific virtual machine in a location i'm not going into details but in the website there is this explanation where the files are located okay and everything but don't mess around with that okay it is very safe uh, i think there are no problems with viruses now because it, it is a operating system apart just based in linux and viruses there are no problem so that's all so when you are here you need to install any program so just follow the traditional steps okay so let me go here also to some additional steps in this slide so after that also for instance i open another powershell you type this one it will show you the versions that you have installed using this command line remember that you have the website go into the the website and you have an explanation of the basic commands okay then 
If you want to install another Win Linux version, just go to the uh, Microsoft Store and look for that. So in this case, look at that. You have this is the one I like, OpenSUSE 15.3. So you have Microsoft Store here. Let me open and just look for that. Okay. Let me go here. OpenSUSE, or I think there is also a Chento. Chento is also or Centos is a very good one you select it install and that's all so you will click here and it will download a minimal installation with the basic commands and then according to you what you need to do you you will need to install more and more applications okay so in this case i already have have it here okay and then when you install that one it will show you it's a little bit different from ubuntu ubuntu is very basic it's just showing here this screen asking for a user and password here is a little bit more elaborated but it's the same stuff it will ask for the password okay so here it will show you some instructions okay and you will create just your user username and group password and that's all of you are ready to go so after you just give that information you are in your OpenSUSE terminal window and you can work as in a Linux system within Windows, you are not uh, you you are using all the resources of the computers. So I you uh, I use also virtual machines, which I really like. Okay, it's a complete installation of, of Linux, but you are sharing resources. So if you don't have a very powerful computer, probably that would penalize you here. You don't have any penalization when it comes to hardware. Okay, we'll share the hardware. The only thing is that you don't have the, the GUI, the very nice GUI, but that is not a problem. Then another, after I install this one and I repeat this command, okay, see that it's showing me that I have two Linux versions. You can uninstall. So for instance, I don't want Ubuntu, just remove that installation. Okay, so to remove that one, is like removing an application in, in, in Windows, okay? So you go to application and features, okay, in system, and look for that application that you, you, you want to remove. Okay, so let's wait here. And <clears throat> let's see, where do I have here? It should be somewhere here. You want to here. See that you go and uninstall and it goes away, okay? And the same will be with uh, OpenSUSE, okay? You have it here, you can remove it, and that's all, okay? It will cancel everything you have done. So it's up to you uh, to install the Windows uh, WSL. It's a little bit more trickier, go to the website, but I think you need to install. Don't be afraid also <coughs> about space. It doesn't use too much space. <coughs> so after doing that, Okay, we're done. As you see, very straightforward. So again, you go here if you want to launch uh, now OpenSUSE. Just look for the installation and uh, it should be somewhere here. I click here and this is my terminal. Okay, and this is a classical Linux terminal where, where you can do whatever you want. Okay, let me close here. Okay, and just to end, let me show you an extra step which I strongly recommend it. You have also this very nice program, the Windows Terminal Preview. Okay, so as well, you look in the Windows Store, install this program. And the advantage of this one is that, for instance, I already have the shortcut here in my desktop. And let me click here. So this one, it will give you access to all the uh, <clears throat> distributions that you have in the machine, also the PowerShell. Okay, so for instance, let me see that I want to open a new terminal with OpenSUSE. Just click there and you have it there and you can have multiple windows as if you were working in, in Linux. So if I want to open the Ubuntu version, just click here and see that you have different Linux between uh, installations open. So very handy. Okay. So I recommend you to, in to install that one, install the preview version, the latest, latest one. Okay. So that is the final step. So you have all, all this stuff explained here. Okay. So. <clears throat> Let me go back to the installation here, install. Okay, so very straightforward installation. So as you go here, some extra information, how to update from all versions, how to run multiple Linux version, but I just show you importing, exporting distributions. Here they recommend to install the Windows Terminal. And well, 
a few other guidelines. So spend some time right here, but just this link here is enough to install everything. So that being said, I think at this point, let me show you a little bit. Okay, so, okay, so another figures. So for instance, if I want to install a program, okay, remember you have you have the graphical user interface, you have just that stuff, but it's not a problem. So for instance, I know that in OpenSUSE is zipper, install and choose your program. Okay, so for instance, let me go like sudo also, you need to do everything as a super user. So sudo and let me install a program. And let me say that I want to install this program. You give the password that you created when you were logging or installing and see that it's just installing. Okay. Let me wait a little bit and already installed that one, but let me remove. Okay. That one. Yes. And see that you remove and if you want to install, go install. So if you are installing an open form, follow the steps that you find in the website. So let me run this application. Okay. So, so this is an X application. Now, so in the old uh, WSL, do, you, you, you need to use an X server. So it's a, it was a little bit tricky. Now in this, in this, this uh, second iteration, WSL2, everything is integrated and it will get it have its own uh, X server, which is fantastic. All this new plot, even part of you, you can run it from here. Okay, so I will prepare another video to show you all that stuff, but it works great out of uh, out of the box. <clears throat> so it's taking a little bit long, but okay, here. Oh, here you go. So you have this small application and then well, you hover here and the mouse follow, the eyes follow the mouse. So see that everything works with no problem. So at this point you have your Linux version, feel free to install all the applications you need for or all the libraries that you need for the application you want to compile. So this will bring me now to what if I want to compile open form? Just go to the website and follow the, the, the instructions as if you were working in a native Linux installation. It is exactly the same. So just to show you, let, let me skip here. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm working with OpenSUSE. So let me go here. And by the way, you can do copy and paste. And it will install all these C++ developer library that obviously you need to compile open phone and every single application. Okay. And see that it will ask you, let me see. Yes. And it will download everything. Okay. So exactly as if you were working your native uh, installation or in a virtual machine. Okay. So just copy and paste all these applications, download with GIT. Uh, you have access to your network also here. Okay. Sharing the same system, no as in Windows, Windows. So there is no problem here. Uh, also just to show you that for instance, already here, I downloaded, uh, open phone. Okay. The source code. So, and I downloaded in Windows. So see that I have the two, these two files here. Okay. So let me copy just to show you also that you can copy and move files within operating systems. So here, let me create a new folder. Okay. So I don't need to work in the terminal. Okay. Or you can do it also from, from the Explorer. There is no problem. And you can modify this user because <clears throat> you created it when you were installing. Okay. So you have editing rights here. So I create the folder open phone. Let me copy the file and see that you have it there. And the same from Linux, you can move to windows with no problem. So let me open another terminal here. Okay. You go here. Okay. So you can have as many terminals as you like. So at this point, I install that one. Let me go here, open phone. So you move exactly in the same, same way. So I'm saying that I want to point out also when you move files from windows into Linux, it will create these files. Okay. These are small files. 
look for that in the website in WSL. They wouldn't explain that one, but these are very small files, okay? They don't take any space. So if you want, you can freely, uh, with no, <clears throat> with safely, you can erase those files. For me, it's not a problem, so I leave it there. But if for you, <clears throat> you don't like those files, just erase. But any case, so just to show you that I can go here, open for nine, and let me extract that. X was okay. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. So go here and extracting this one. Perfect. Now I go here. Uh, let me extract this one. Okay, I type it wrong. And there you go, I have the third party. And at this point, I can compile it in the traditional way. So I'm not going to go through those steps, okay? Just follow the instructions that you find in the, in, in the website. Uh, okay, so you have here, for instance, GATs you want to clone, and let me show you that I already installed that application. So as you go like this, uh, okay, okay, I need to install GAT, I didn't install that one. So let me go back here and the line will be this one. So see that here it says installing JT, installing OpenMPI, you can run in parallel with no problem, exactly in the same way. So at this point, let, let, let's wait a little bit where it is installing that. Let me move here and let me go open phone. Okay, I have it there. What else we can show you? So yeah, pretty much this is it. So any program, it can be installed. The tricky thing is that uh, you need to install all the libraries manually. So when you have just, when you have the graphical user interface there, you can install patterns and choose install all libraries. Here is very basic. Uh, Linux installation, many things are, 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 are missing. So if you are compiling graphical uh, applications, you will need to install X11, X11 fonts and, and everything. So be careful about that. So in another video, I'm going to show you the installation of open phone. Okay. It's on the basic commands that you need to add because it's not enough. Or in my case, when you're I, I install, it wasn't enough. Uh, the commands here that you have in, in the web page, it was, uh, I, I needed to install uh, two or three more libraries, but you can get there in your own way. You can install also the ESI version. Okay. Nothing changed. Exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> Again, just follow the instructions in, in the <clears throat> in the terminal window. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you in the next video that we will address the specific of open phone and for this matter also will apply to any other program. Okay, so thank you for your attention. See you in the next video. Bye.